Hello, how you doing? Welcome to the loft. Uh, today we're going to see how to close a small rig and how to proper put the D-bag in the container and how to close the container. So, see what I'm doing. Alright, as you can actually see right here, we have the rig. The main is already been packed. Right now what we're going to do, we're going to place the bag on the back, make sure that our parachute is cocked, for which it is. Next step, we're going to set up the risers along the rig. As you can see on this one, we have two lock toggles. You can see where the brake lines are being fed on the back of the riser. Also, we have Louis loops. And as you can see, I'm setting up the, I'm fanning the risers with the rear risers to the top. I'm gonna close my riser cover. And since I have my shoulder, my knee uh, on the on the shoulders on the shoulder pad, you can see that it's creating also the shape of the shoulder. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, fanning the risers and putting the rear riser to the top. Close the riser covers. I'm gonna move the rig a little bit forward. Right here, as you can see, we have a nice flat bottom of the reserve tray the first thing the first step I'm gonna do I'm gonna make sure my lines are clear on the bottom on the bottom part of the of the main tray and gently I'm gonna roll the bag the important part here is to make sure that we put this part of the bag first like that once we have the bag feeding already on the container. I'm gonna put my knee on top of it and I'm gonna feed the corners. So by doing it this way, there's two things. You can see that the bag is already sitting on the container the way it's made to be that it's, it's, it's designed to be. Also, it's not coming out and you can see how nice already is, everything is feeding. Also, we're gonna learn how to adjust a main closing loop. You want your closing loop to be anywhere between an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half long. That's pretty much what you're looking for. As you can see, one inch, that's, that is going to be about... I need to shorten a little bit. There we go. At the moment I'm done putting tension, this is going to be about an inch and a half. Feed it back through the grommet and close this nice tack tab in. Make sure that there's not, no uh, closing loop exposed right here. I like to have the pallet shoot over my right hand. Use your closing device, you can use a pull-up cord, you can use a packing tool, I prefer to use a packing tool. First thing, we're gonna go through the center flap, and as you can see, I'm putting pressure with my knee, at the same time I'm pushing the container that way. I'm gonna put my knee on top there, this is the new way we're closing the, the containers now. I'm gonna make sure my bridle comes straight down. Actually, I'm gonna put a twist on it. So the pin is gonna be accessed, but you can see how it's coming straight down. I'm gonna close right flap. And right here, before I put all the tension on this flap, I'm gonna make sure that my inner riser covers are very nice and flash against the reserve tray. Then I'm putting my thumb right here to make sure that we have a nice curve right here on the on the main container. Put your knee to keep the tension on the on the pack job, and we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that the inner riser cover is nice and flush, and we're gonna bring the right flap in. This is a nice tight rig. There we go. Next step: put your pin through your closing loop. Make sure it's going straight up. And you can see here how the bridle is coming on the routing nice and clean and away from the grommets. Take up your closing device. And right now, fold your bridle and put it under the right flap, just like that pin straighten up you can see that you have the gap right there to put your main pin cover flap nice and flush 
let's clean up the patch of the bottom of the tray a little bit and now we're gonna do our pilot shoot there's many many ways to fold a pilot shoot once you have a free fly pad make sure that the tab is going away from you on the bottom like that bridle all the way out we're gonna fold the pilot shoot in a half and as you can see I'm making this part just a little bit narrower than the bottom part here then we're gonna fold it and we're going to put all the bridle on the center here we want to make sure that we get bridle extension before parachute inflation after we have the parachute I'm just gonna fold it in thirds have it nice and controlled we're gonna put it on the BOC pouch. This is a brand new rig so it's a little bit tight. We have the pallet chute nice and set up there. Then it slide the free flight tab right under the bridle protector right there. And you can see how nice and tight this main tray is packed and how nice and tight the rig is packed. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 386-736-7471. That's the ringing loft.